Hi there, it's Ina here and I want to alter this really old scrapbook here. It has nice, sturdy, little bit textured pages and a lot of them. The inside still looks very clean and nice. It does have a closure but this one lost its buoyancy so I will replace this. Um, but mainly I want to of course alter and decorate the cover. Now usually I prefer working loose leaf but I'm thinking that uh, this journal has so many pages that if I get to one I don't like I can just remove it because some of these pages will have to go eventually. As I work on these they usually get rather bulky and this spiral binding will only be able to carry that many pages. So I think it's worth a try and these pages may actually hold up nicely to my mediums and if that is a problem well at least it will be a good surface for collaging and those kind of things. Now to start with because the inside of the journal is still in good shape I will add some masking tape to the edges and over the spine get rid of this thing here and a gesso in the front and in the back. Here is my gesso cover. As you can see, I added the masking tape and I didn't measure anything. I just eyeballed it and it's straight enough. And the back side as well. And the masking tape actually met in the middle here and maybe that's a good thing. So everything is nicely protected. I also added a little bit of masking tape on the other side of this hole and added the gesso, so everything is dry, ready to go.
So let me give you one more look at the journal here. It has some great texture because of all the layers of tissue paper. I also gave a second outline to the three raised birds in the middle here, just to bring them out a little more. And I'm pleased uh, with the way the closure goes right over the branch. And of course, I did decorate the back of the journal as well. And even though I took a video of this, I decided not to include it in uh, this video as it was just too boring. There's not much going on here. I basically used the same colors I had in the front, the same stencils, plus a couple other stencils with circles in different sizes. I added the copper edging and that was already it. So you really didn't miss anything here. So this is it for today. I can't wait to start working in this. I hope you enjoyed this time with me and that you come back soon to see me again. Bye-bye <laughs> for now.